everybody and welcome to my last day of this one week one palette challenge with the already k naked three palette it's day seven so let's get started with eyeshadow primer of course i'm using the over decay prime potion again and i'm applying that to my eyelids and i'm blending it up into the crease and towards the eyebrows and just out wherever i think i need eyeshadow primer And the first color today is again strange and I'm using a Zuiva 227 brush and I'm applying that all over my lid to prime my eyelid to have a nice transition color and to set my eyeshadow primer. Next I'm using my Pixi and the Silky Eye Pen in Black Cocoa and I'm kind of creating a base eyeliner. So this is a very dark brown uh, eye pencil basically and I am kind of creating a background eyeliner. I don't know if you can call it so but that's basically my idea behind this. I'm applying a I don't know medium thick eyeliner line and that is basically the base for the eye look I'm creating today. And the next eyeshadow for today is the color Nuna, which is a nice matte, medium dark, uh, brownish color, I would say. I think it definitely has several different undertones, but I'm basically applying that one with a fluffy brush and I'm concentrating it in the outer corners, but also blending it towards the middle and here you can already see that I'm putting that on top of the eyeliner I put on before, because it doesn't need to be 100% visible, it's just a kind of definition of the um, lash line but it doesn't is not like the most important part of this eye look so I'm applying Nuna with a fluffy brush and I'm blending that from the outer corner towards the inner corner The next color I'm using is Mugshot and that is a very nice like dark golden color and I'm applying that on top of the eyeliner in the outer corners in the crease and I'm blending that towards the lash line and it's just a nice accent it gives it's a very nice the, the glittery shimmery color has a very nice warm undertone so uh, that's what I'm doing next And I'm also using Mugshot, like you can see, as the eyeshadow to uh, define the outline of the whole look. So how far it goes up to the brow, which shape it has, if it's more like a wing shape or more like a round shape. And like you can see, I'm using Mugshot to define that shape. And next I'm using a fluffy brush to blend those lines or that defined shape I just created a little bit out so that it's not too harsh but you still have the shape you created it's not completely like destroyed it's just the lines are a little bit softer. And we go on to the lower lash line. So first of all, I am using Mark Shot again and I'm putting that in the outer corners of the lower lash line basically and I'm blending with that towards the middle and it's just the first color to define that lower lash line and to make this look a whole kind of. Uh, 
and now I'm using dark side on top of mugshot basically so first of all I am creating a little bit of a wing um, which connects the eyeliner I drew before and shapes the eye a little bit and also connects the upper lid with the lower lid and like you can see I'm also with a winged liner brush I am now applying dark side also to the lower lash line for a little bit more definition and just to give that whole look a little bit of a smoky side and now I'm also applying dark side with a flat eyeshadow brush to the crease and I just wanted this look to be very soft but have a lot of definition to the eye so I'm applying dark side to the crease for a lot of definition there and we go on with the golden sparkle which a golden bronzy a summer look would need and I'm applying trick to the inner corners and I'm applying a lot and a lot a lot of it I really built this color up because I wanted it to be very intense and very strong and I'm blending trick from the inner corners to the outer corners so everything is very nicely blended together the golden color this golden bronzy color of trick doesn't stop in the inner corners or in the middle of the eye I'm really blending that out towards the outer corner so that everything is very soft and a very bronzy For an acrylic highlight, I am using dust. Now, remember when you apply this, that this color is very, very powdery. So be a little bit more careful when you apply this because it definitely has a lot of fallout, and you don't want to have a completely glittery face or anything. And back to the lower lash line, and here I'm just applying trick to the lower lash line basically and I'm putting that in the inner corners blending that towards the outer corner and also kind of mixing all the colors a little bit together also applying a little bit of trick to the inner corners and yes here I am reapplying a dark side to the crease because I decided it's not defined enough and I wanted to, the crease to be a lot darker Now I'm using the Essence Gel Eye Pencil which is a waterproof white eye pencil and I'm applying that to my waterline because a white eyeliner is always very opening for the eye and I just thought that this look could need a very very fresh side. And to open the eyes even more and to give it all the flirty look, I'm applying the Tanya Bow Everyday Flutter Lashes, which are kind of half eyelashes. Now, I wanted to film the process of me applying my false eyelashes, but unfortunately, half of the process is out of a shot. Like you can see, so I decided to just speed it up a lot, and here it is. And what do you do after you apply false eyelashes? Right, you apply mascara. And as always, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara, which I just repurchased twice. So you know how much I love the mascara. And I'm just applying that to my top lashes very carefully so that I won't destroy all the work I put into applying my false eyelashes. And of course, also to the lower lashes. For lipstick today I am using a Yves Rocher uh, lipstick which I totally forgot the name it's something Grand Roche I think 72 or 75 I will put the name uh, down in the description box so you can check it out I think it's also in my May favorites probably which will come next week so I'm applying that it's a very nice and natural pinky nude lipstick which is basically my lips with better color but I thought this eye look does not need a very strong lipstick color. And 
that's it guys the last look the final look for this challenge I really enjoyed this challenge I think there are many many amazing looks you can create with the naked 3 palette thank you all so much for watching and commenting and liking the videos and so much for subscribing because you know there are going to come many many other challenges many other palettes I'm going to challenge on this point again please leave me a comment down below under any video of this series which palette you would like me to challenge and if I have it I will do it if not I will buy the palette and try to do it so thank you very much for liking commenting and subscribing and sharing these videos and yes so I will see you in my next challenge definitely don't forget to subscribe for that and Thank you all so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye bye and take care.